This is how you can host your Discord bot online 24-7 for free, so let's go ahead and get started. So to do this, we're going to be using Diva Hosting, which is a host that was just reorganized and re-released a couple of days ago. So it's fresh and new, it has DDoS protection and a bunch of other very, very good things, so that's why we're going to be using it here. So to do this, go ahead and click the link in the description below to get here, and go ahead and click on the Get Started button. It's pretty straightforward. Once you're here, all you have to do is click on the free plan. It's going to give you these specs, or you could purchase just a plan if you would like, but we're just going to be doing the free one here. Then we can go ahead and click on it. It's actually going to go ahead and invite you to the Discord server. Now, it looks like the invite here is expired, so I'll go ahead and give you the invite to the new Discord server in the description below. Um, for you, this might not be expired, but for me it is. So just go ahead and click the Discord server link in the description below to get there as well. So once you're in the Discord server here, just go over to bot commands, and all you have to do is run the new command. Now here you're going to provide your email address, your username, and do you accept the terms of service. So obviously I'm not going to show the email right now, but the username will be my name. And of course I do accept the terms of service, otherwise I won't be able to use it. So now I'm going to provide my email and then I'm going to go ahead and put submit. All right, so now that I've clicked submit, as you can see here, it's going to think and then it's going to go ahead and give me a Jackson account tab right here. So I can just go ahead and click on that. So in here, it's going to say that an email verification has been sent out. So to proceed with this setup, just go over to your email and get the verification code. All right, so we can go ahead and click on the enter code once we have the code and you can just go ahead and type it in. Uh, it's going to be a code in your email that you cannot copy and paste. So just go ahead and type it in from your email. Once you do that, all you have to do is click submit. So after doing that, it's going to go ahead and do a couple of scans and then it's going to provide me with my my account. So as you can see, it's going to go ahead and give me all of this information. Some of it's blurred out because I can't show it, but it's going to give you your email and your password for that account. So we can just go ahead and go over to the panel and it's going to go ahead and open up the panel. So right here, go ahead and use the account information that they provided you with here. So it's going to be the email and the password. It's probably a good idea to save the password as well um, because it's kind of an obscure password. So just make sure you save that and don't forget that. All right. So now that we're in the panel, we have to do is go over to my services. So once we're here, just go ahead and click on the service ID or you could do the name um, and just go ahead and click it and it will actually go ahead and open up your panel right here. So now that you're here, all you have to do is upload your files and change a couple configuration settings and we'll be good to go. So we're going to go over to files and now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and minimize this. We can drag this to the side and we're going to go over to the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. It's going to be a zip folder. We can just go ahead and call this server creator zip and in here, we're going to go ahead and open this up. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and open up the file that has all of your code and then you can go ahead and drag all of that code except for the node modules within your folder here, your zip folder. So make sure you don't include the node modules, but once you've done that, all you have to do is close out of your main code file and you can close out of the zip file. And then you can just go ahead and drag that zip file with all of your code in here. Keep in mind, if you are using Replit, just go ahead and download the code files and then put it into a zip and upload it here. That should not be too hard to do. Then you can go ahead and click on the three dots and we're gonna go ahead and click on, on archive and we can just go ahead and delete the zip from the panel here. All right, so now that we've uploaded all of our files, we're going to go over to the configuration tab. Now we're going to be selecting the programming language that your bot is made with. So to tell what your node language is, all you have to do is you have to go to your bot project and within the terminal here, all you have to do is type node and click enter. And as you can see, it's going to say welcome to node.js and then your version. So for me, my node version is 18. So we're going to go back over to the host and we can go ahead and select node 18. It might be different for you, but you have to go ahead and check that. So now that we've set our programming language here, we can go over to the console and we can go here we're just going to go ahead and click start the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to do node src slash index.js or we're going to go ahead and run the project that has your main file in it from there we can go ahead and do mpmi discord.js because for me discord.js is not installed so we're going to go ahead and run it and we're going to go ahead and give it a couple of seconds to think now keep in mind you can go over to the files and once you see the .mpm node modules and there is going to be a .cache folder you should be good to run the node src again so now that it is done it looks like it's done here we can go over here and we're going to do node src slash index.js once more all right so we're just going to go ahead and continue to wait for this to load keep in mind this is using delegated resources so it's going to go ahead and take a little bit to load in but now that it's done it should actually go ahead and turn on. If it didn't turn on automatically for you, all you have to do is run node src slash index.js after you install discord.js. So what I did here was I did npmi discord.js and then while it was loading, I ran this command here. 
and then it actually went ahead and turned on. So now that the bot is on, we should be able to go over to the Discord server here, and as you can see, the bot is on, and I'm gonna go ahead and close out of my terminal and the bot files to prove that it is actually working. So yeah, that's how you can host your Discord bot online 24 seven for free. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the Diva support hosting server. You're already gonna be in it, but just go ahead and use this channel here and they'll be happy to help you out. And if you're interested, my server will be linked in the description below. You can go ahead and join that as well. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.